I'm a journalist. I'm an author. Uh, I, I write. I write books. I was a war reporter for a long time. Uh, I made documentary films about war. Uh, before that, I was a climber for tree companies. I actually got into the business right. I actually got into the business of writing because I, I was up in a tree, taking a tree down. I hit my leg with a chainsaw. I tore it open, and I started to think about dangerous jobs. And maybe I'll write about dangerous jobs instead of instead of doing one. And that got me on the path. I wrote about commercial fishing. I wanted to write about war reporting. And then suddenly I was a war reporter, and I just kept I just kept doing it. So, so just by definition, the job that I do as an author or journalist uh, is, is sort of a solitary job. I, I'm not in, I'm not directing other people. I'm not sort of commanding other people. Uh, but I'm around a lot of groups where that dynamic exists, where there's a leader and then there's people that hopefully trust their leader and they're working in concert to get something done. But I myself, to the extent that I'm in, ever in a leadership role, it's um, maybe in the realm of ideas. I mean, one of the great things about journalism is that you're trying to understand the world, you're trying to explain the world, and when you do that, you start to see what works and what doesn't work. And I've really tried to use the knowledge that I've gained as a journalist to explain to my society, to my country, to the United States, um, what, what the best human course is, what the best way to act is. You never want to tell people what to do, but you can certainly talk about life in terms where it's pretty damn obvious how we should all be acting. But as a journalist, the, the idea that I can contribute to the, to the common good with some ideas, with some knowledge, with some things that I've learned from being out in the world, that's completely intoxicating and makes me feel like I'm living a, a meaningful life. It makes me feel like I've lived a good life.